Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to budget for October. I already have my budget kit all set up for October in my monthly view, so that's all good to go. That was something that was a little new to my shop. I think I started it in October. So if you wanna check out any of my budget kits, I do have a link down below. Um, I just released November, so that's super exciting. Um, and there's still September, October, and obviously November kits, and then anything that was left over from prior um, months are on sale. So definitely check it out if you want to. So today I'm here to set up our budget. And if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that I like to do a fixed and variable expense budget, which basically means I just take my fixed expenses and separate them out from my variable expenses. I am using an Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. I always have everything that I use down, linked down below, um, but it is a seven by nine, and that's a huge factor of why I decided to start the fixed and variable budget um, kit because I just needed more space and I didn't want a huge planner. I wanted it to be able to fit easily in my bag, um, and I didn't want to have to worry about it just being too, too big. So I do have a bunch of kits here. These are all, again, from my shop um, for October. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying stuff down and then we can get into the actual budget. I have talked about this a 100 times before, but I personally love writing out a budget. For some reason, it just makes it stick with me a little bit more. And I, for whatever reason, just have to have it cute. Otherwise, it doesn't keep my interest. So that's kind of why I do this whole process and why I came up with the idea for my shop because I know that having a cute budget will keep me interested and that's the biggest thing. You just have to stay interested in your budget and you have to follow through with it as much as possible. Okay, so I believe we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four um, different incomes that I like to put in there. One is actually just a miscellaneous category and it's for anything that's like completely random that may come up. Doesn't happen that often, but you know, you never know. So I like to have a space there for that. And I'm just putting a little divider between our income and our expenses. So we'll do our fixed expenses. Well, wait, I normally do our variable expenses first here. We'll do variable first and then we'll move on to the fixed. Okay. And I like to use the uh, Pilot Friction Pen. This is in the needle um, tip pen. And I, again, personally just really like using it because I can make changes if I need to. Believe it or not, <laughs> because I'm budgeting, you know, before the month actually starts and because it's, you know, it usually is like a day of where I sit down and put together a budget. I sometimes forget stuff like everybody does um, completely normal but I like having an erasable pen because then I can go back and change stuff if I need to um, or add things and that's happened plenty of times before so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in some of our stuff so first I have um, income which is my salary I also have variable income and I use a variable income tracker um, that gets set up with my cash dividers. And then we have Jason, Jason's income. And then I just like to have a miscellaneous category for anything that just randomly comes up. In terms of variable expenses, um, these are just things that come in every single month that the amount is not certain. So a lot of these are utilities, um, there's also things like groceries and gas that change every month because we like to budget for those on a, um, a week by week basis. And then some of our fixed expenses you'll see in a second are just stuff that's every single month, um, that are exactly the same. 
I've had a lot of questions from people about our sinking funds and why some bills are included in sinking funds and some are included in our variable expenses. And that really just has to do with the fact that some bills are every month and some bills are every two months, every three months. And so any bill that is not every month, we put in our sinking fund so that every month we save a little bit for it so that when it comes due in two months or three months, we have that money available without having to pay $100 every couple months. Um, it just helps even our budget out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna start by putting in our items here. So we have our electric, we have gas, and this is gas for our house. We have cable and internet. We have gas for our cars. We have groceries. We have eating out. And my cash clips are included in here. So eating out, household, and haircuts are all um, included in our cash dividers. So you'll see that in a couple um, in a couple videos when I stuff my cash dividers. Then we have our allowances. This, this is for Jason, myself and Jason. Um, we get a little bit of, of spending money every week or so. Um, but I like to, you know, budget obviously for the month. And then um, I do get my eyelashes done. I have eyelash extensions. It's just so nice um, not to have to wake up and put on mascara. It seriously makes my day so much easier. And at night it makes it easier too because I'm pregnant, I'm tired. The last thing I want to do is like try and get a ton of mascara off. Um, and so I have that in my budget. And I think I'll probably have that in my budget for a little bit, um, especially once we have the baby and maybe a little bit after the baby. Um, the lady that I go to, it's a lot cheaper than what it's been in the past. So it's actually not that much money compared to what it could be. So I, I'm kind of rationalizing it that way. But in reality, I don't have a ton of fancy um, splurge items in our budget. Um, especially for me, so I feel like this is one thing that I can have for myself. We're also going to put Halloween in. Um, this is going to be for Macy's costume and then like any candy or anything that we need to buy for that. Then we have our sinking funds, which I will cover in more detail tomorrow in tomorrow's video. And then we have unbudgeted which we do not actually budget anything for unbudgeted, but I like to put a space there so that when we have anything in actual, we have a spot for it. So we can go ahead and grab our totals, put that down here, and we can draw some lines out and put our budget amounts in and then move on to fixed. Okay, so for electric, I am budgeting $75. For gas, I'm budgeting $60. Cable, I'm budgeting $145. Gas for our cars is $150. Groceries, I am going to do $500. Eating out is going to be 200 Household, we've kind of kept this steady at $100, and that's been working out for us, so we're going to keep it there. And then I am increasing our haircuts to $40, and that's just because Jason's recently started going to a newer place, and with tip and everything, he needs a little bit more money. Allowance is going to be $160. That's $80 for me, $80 for Jason, and the way that we calculate that very similar to some of the other items that we have in variable expenses. We do it by week. So we do it by every Friday in the week, we get $20 each. So that ends up being 160. 
For eyelash extensions, um, I will have to go, I go every three weeks and it's $60 every three weeks. It just happens that in October I'll be going twice just because of the timing of everything, so it will be $120. For Halloween, I'm giving us $40 that will include Macy's costume and then any candy or anything else that we'll need. And then for unbudgeted, obviously I put zero in. So then moving on to our fixed expenses, and I'm going to do something that I always forget to do, and I'm going to learn my lesson this time. I'm going to put a ruler down because I always have it like slanted and it drives me crazy. Um, but first we have our mortgage, and then we have Netflix, we have Apple Music. We have Amazon Prime. We have our car. We have swim class for Macy. And we have preschool. And that is it for our total fixed expenses. So we can go ahead and put down our total here. Oops, that's a little crooked. Okay, and then I'll draw in my little line and then we'll fill in the amounts and we'll be good to go. Okay, so for Netflix, our Netflix is $15.99. Our Apple Music is $9.99. Amazon Prime is $12.99, Macy's Swim is $90, and Macy's Preschool is $139. So that's pretty much it in terms of our budget. I am going to go ahead and put down our total savings right at the bottom. And you guys don't really see this part because I like to keep some things confidential on my channel. Um, but every, I do like in my rough budget, put together everything and then I see how much I think we'll save based off of what we actually budget. And then after the fact, um, once the month is over, I go in and fill in the total savings. So everything gets filled in, even though you guys don't necessarily see everything. Um, and I know that's kind of frustrating sometimes because it's, you know, you probably want to watch a budget video where you see how much someone's going to be saving. Um, at this point, we save quite a bit of money, to be honest with you, because our expenses have really stayed pretty much the same, but our income has increased um, over the year. So that's one really nice thing. Obviously, small things come up. We're saving for a baby. Um, we want to sell our house. So like right now, we have a lot of budget goals and we have some newer expenses because of the new baby. But in general, our main budget has stayed pretty much the same for a while. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me set up my budget. If you guys want to check out my Etsy shop, I'll have a link down below. Again, as of right now, all the November kits are available. Um, December kits will be available on, let me check. I just want to make sure I give you guys the correct date. I've been trying to let you guys know ahead of time just so you can plan and budget for it. So, uh, so December kits will be released on October 20th. That's my plan. Um, I personally really, really, really love December kits. It's probably one of my favorite kits. So I'm really excited for you guys to see it. But definitely check that out and definitely keep an eye out. Last um, Sunday I did do a discount code for my shop. So I don't know if that's going to be an every release type of thing. But definitely look out for those videos um, just so you don't miss anything. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.